with my current work, I aim to tell stories of young African immigrants in the diaspora in a very honest and authentic way. Stories that also exhibit beauty, purity, vibrancy. Stories that elevate those communities instead of diminish them. I feel like I am, in a way, the middleman. I just gather my experiences with every individual that I sit with and transfer it into this medium. The instant that I met Pape, it was just like the instant connection. It's like we just talked, like we've been friends for a, a long time. You know, I went the first time I went into his studio, I was just mesmerized by his work and how much of passion and dedication he puts into it. It just takes me back to where it all begins, which is, you know, Africa. It just it reminds me of every element of what we do that makes us happy. There's something about the mix that Pepe brings to the conversation. I've seen artists who are from America and trying to give a voice to other Black voices around the world. And I've seen artists trying to lift up in America, American Black voices. This thing that Pepe is doing, I don't know if I have the words to describe it, but he is at once modernizing because there are people that are alive and here right now but he is also reaching into their very specific cultural traditions, the, the land that they came from and the way that that land informed the designs on the fabrics that they wear, the way that that land might inform the, the feel of the fabric on their skin. And he's bringing those things into modern. He's not trying to present what this person might have looked like in the culture they came from. He's showing them now, today, with enough of the context of where they came from that we are forced to reckon with a new experience. Because we don't see it often. You only hear the white people and their successes. You never really hear about, hey, this is this African who came here as a refugee. We have this conversation where Pape and I always laugh. There was a host who was like, what do you bring to the table? And she's like, I'm the table. I feel like Africa is the table. We are the table, we bring a lot. I think we just need to put our foot down and be like, hey, we control this, we rule this. We're definitely being taken advantage for. So that's why it's great to see like an African just succeeding and putting their foot down and believing in something and just doing great. When I was conceptualizing this painting, I wanted to create this grandiose painting, this theatrical painting without doing too much in terms of the subject matter creating something that was bold and something that was in your face without presenting the figures like they were aiming to be anything, aiming to, to impress anyone, aiming to be seen as something different. I presented them as they are. 